What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. And today's video is actually super exciting because I'm doing three different things in one video. I am showing you guys how I created this smoky fire look with the KKW Beauty So Fire palette. Eyeshadow palette as well as her lip liners and lip gloss. And I will be telling you guys my top five so far for Miss Universe 2019. I will also tell you guys my entry directions for my first giveaway. I'm so excited if you guys look to see one, two, and three things in this video. Just keep watching. I just finished my face. I am putting my powder on. This is a video focusing on the eyes and lips. That's why I didn't want to waste any time doing my face with you guys. If you guys do want a video of how I do my whole face, just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do one for you guys. So before we jump in, I do want to introduce what I'll be using for my eyes which is the KKW Beauty palette from the SoFire collection. Super excited and I will also be using for my lips, the lipsticks and the lip liners. Steven once again. Uh, as you can tell, I already uh, huh, opened them. So I'm gonna play around with these as well as telling you guys who my top five are for Miss Universe 2019. A lot of the girls haven't been chosen yet, but the ones that have, I've looked through them and I have picked my top five. Now that doesn't mean this is going to be my top five for the rest of the year. <laughs> I don't think so. It could change, it will change, just because the girls are developing, they're growing as an individual, they're growing their organization, they're growing what they want to build this platform around. So um, my thoughts and my minds can change every day, but this is my top five, in, I would say August edition, because next month there might be a new top five. <laughs> so don't be mad if your candidate isn't in my top five. It could change, it probably will change. So you still have hopes in having your candidate in my top five. We are going to start off with the eyes, because the eyes speak to the soul. But anyways, all right, let's open this. <laughs> I uh, get a little carried away sometimes. Uh, uh, eel. So don't mind me. Oh, first glance. All I can say is, Kim, it's beautiful. It's absolutely Sorry, silence mode. First and foremost, let's conceal these lids. All right, so for my first candidate entering my top five, could anybody guess who it might be? I did a whole video on just her. She is still in my top five and still someone I think all the girls should look after. She's just fresh. Actually, that word fresh, is gonna hit for every single one of my girls in my top five because that's what I'm looking for this year. Someone different, someone, I don't know, just someone that's not afraid to be them and that they're authentically beautiful and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, first and foremost, let's give it up for Brazil. <laughs> Brazil is absolutely flawless. This girl can literally walk in a room and take over. I don't want her to walk into Miss Universe with extensions. She better not walk in with extensions because I will be very upset. But she is one that um, looks beautiful naturally, looks beautiful um, on an everyday basis. And I think that's like what every girl strives to be. <laughs> is beautiful and I 
everyday look. And, you know, she's killing it. She now, I want you guys to really tell me if you guys think Brazil is, I don't know, flawless, beautiful. Um, or if there's something about her that just isn't, you know, with you at the moment, you know, in your taste buds. Which, that's okay because uh, that happens a lot. And that just means, you know, you have a nice eye. You have a really picky eye and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. All right guys, so I just set my eye and the first thing I'm going to start out with, so I'm gonna use five colors to describe each of the girls and this one I'm starting out with my lid. This is the order that I chose to tell you guys the girls because this is the order that I am doing my eyes. Um, so these are just a color to like describe them. Okay, so I'm going in with this natural color for my first girl, which is Brazil. The reason why she's just plain nude is because she's just her, and that is enough. She could just be her, walk into a room, and literally take over, and I think that's what makes her special, and the color nude. <laughs> So after we put in Brazil, <laughs> we're gonna move on to my next favorite candidate. This color is vibrant, it's fresh, because this candidate is someone that might be a little different than usual. My next color is this beautiful reddish tone. More, it's like a more rustic color. I'm gonna introduce my second girl, and that is the beautiful Heidi. The reason why, because this girl is just like this color. She's bright, she's fire, she's different, and I love that about her. And this is probably, a lot of people didn't have her in their top five predictions, but I think this girl could bring something different to the stage, and I'm super excited to see what that difference could be. But we're gonna use this right on the crease, okay? Cutting your eye different can give you guys so many different looks. So instead of curving it in, I'm going straight out, okay? Oh girl, that's already looking fire. Okay. So, straight out, right? Really focus on that. After we've blended as much as we can with Heite, we're kinda, these aren't the names of the colors, guys. Okay, I'm just saying the colors that I'm using, describing my top five. Okay, um, so. We're gonna move on to my third color. And my third color is going to be this beautiful rustic pinkish color. It's much lighter. We're putting that on the lid itself. And this, this one we're gonna describe the beautiful Miss Philippines. And the reason why I am introducing Miss Philippines with this color is because she is, to me, she's not like, this crazy empowering look. To me, she is a beautiful, elegant sculpture from the Philippines that just brings in some more freshness, just like I said, um, from my first one, which was um, Miss Brazil. Now, Miss Philippines is one to watch. She was in my top two when I did the Miss Philippine video. There's something about her that I hope she continues to work on. Um, she does not need any more stage presence because that girl got it. And she does not need any more attitude confidence because she has that all the way. One thing she doesn't have though is public speaking needs a little bit more help. And the reason why I say it needs more help is because there's so much interviews going on. There's so much press days, you know, final questions, things like that, and I need her to kill it. Because if she kills that, then she's a whole package. But if she doesn't, then she's not. Okay, now that I have those two colors in there, 
I'm gonna go to my next candidate and hit my lid right up here. And I'm gonna mix two colors, which are gonna be my next two candidates. This is bronzy orange. And can anybody guess who this color to me describes? Hmm? This one describes the eye-catching Miss Vietnam. Now, Vietnam was one of my all-time favorites last year. And when I mean all-time, because that girl was fire. <laughs> so good. And the reason why is because, again, she brought that freshness and that difference. And it's just her. Um, and it was enough. And it was beautiful. And she created that different beauty. And I looked up to her a lot. But this one is a little bit different. She is this bronzy because she has this sexy appeal to her but at the same time she looks innocent and fresh and why I chose this bronze color to be her signature color. Now last but not least I have to save this gold looking beautiful color as Miss Puerto Rico. She started out her winning pageant as someone that might not been seen as a typical um, queen for Puerto Rico but she is someone to definitely look after. That's why I made her the color gold because gold, everybody wants gold. Everybody wants to have gold, be gold, everything. And um, she's one to definitely also look after when it comes to Miss Universe. And I'm so excited to have her as Miss Puerto Rico because you guys know I am Puerto Rican. So it's just nice to see a fresh face coming from the island and someone that deserved to win and is going to do great things in Puerto Rico and put Puerto Rico on the map. So that's exciting. So now that we have kind of like our base as in where our colors are gonna be, we're gonna go in and actually darken all of those areas. So we're gonna go back in with Brazil. faded look which I totally think alright guys I'm going to create this eye and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm gonna wipe all of this off. So we guys, we're gonna add some bronze in areas because right now, I'm completely baked up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with that bronzy orange that I used to describe Miss Vietnam. And we're gonna go as close to the waterline as possible. Go in with that reddish color that I used to describe Miss Tay Tay. Okay. Guys, I'm going to finish my eyes by putting my eyelashes and my eyebrows on and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so I finished my eyes and my face. I did a little bit of contouring. Now I'm gonna go in and do my lips. Now, I don't know which one to choose from. I am going to go in with lip liner first, and then maybe if I would like a little bit of gloss, I'll try one of these. I should probably go in with like a nude color. Should I just do copper? No, I want, I want some bold ass lips. We're going with these two. I'm going to go in with copper first. Lips are so hard to do, guys. No joke. Mats I can't stand because they turn super dry. But... These don't, and I really, really like that. I love that, actually. Okay, so. And I'm Not too much, I don't want too much. I want just enough to give me that smoothie texture. Uh, but not enough to make them um, dry. All right guys, so I'm gonna change my whole look and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look. I don't know, what do you guys think? So when I have straight hair, a lot of people say I look like Kim K, which <laughs> for any girl that's like a, what, what? Thank you, thank you, you know what I mean? But I do like to look like none other than Stephanie and Marie. <laughs> if you guys like this look, please give me a comment down below. What you didn't like, what I could do better. What kind of videos you guys would like to see next? If you guys like my top five, if you didn't, tell me your top five. I wanna know, I wanna know so far. Who do you guys like? Who do you guys don't? What we've all been waiting for and is the announcement of my first giveaway. You guys, I not only hit 5,000, but I eventually ended up hitting 6,000 the next day. And I couldn't be more excited and more thankful for you guys. But I did want to do something special. I didn't know what to get you guys because I have such a diverse group of subscribers from boys and girls to beauty gurus to pageant gurus to just everyday people who just want to know a little bit more about pageants or about beauty or just about me. I don't know. <laughs> so for my giveaway, I did create this look with the SoFire eyeshadow palette from KKW Beauty. I keep, I keep wanting to say West. KKW West. I don't know why. But KKW Beauty. Uh, this palette is pretty much amazing. I love the colors. I mean, you can get such a diverse look with these colors right here. So, the winner will receive either the KKW eyeshadow palette. If you guys love it and like it, I will send it to you guys directly. Obviously a new one, not the one I used. But I will send it to you guys um, in its box, directly to you guys. Or you guys could get a $50 gift card and spend it however you would like. I will also include a picture of myself and autograph because that's exactly what you guys asked for, but I thought that was too small to just give as my first giveaway, so I decided to add a little something onto that for you guys. So you'll receive the KK palette or the $50 gift card with a picture of me and autographed. I am excited to come up with more giveaways for you guys and just really spoil you as much as I can as we continue to grow. So for the directions to enter this giveaway, it's just three simple steps. Three simple steps, ready? You have to be subscribed to my channel, obviously. So subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. The next one is you have to be subscribed to SNS right there. That is my couple's channel. It's very new, but we're having so much fun creating it and building content for you guys. And you have to comment done, the three steps. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to SNS, and comment below anything you would like about this video, that you are done subscribing to both channels. So confirm your entry to this giveaway. And my post notification shout out goes to Jay Maya. Hi, how are you? What's up? Thank you so much for being a brand new member to the 
family. I am so excited to have you. You are one of the people that made this giveaway possible. So thank you again a million. I love you. Besos. If you want to post a biggest shout out, all you have to do is comment below. Actually, if you even enter the giveaway, you're already commenting. So you're already in the run for getting a shout out. You see how it works? We work together. But anyways, you can comment down below and you will be in the run getting a post video shout out in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bisles. Adios.